Typical patient could be somebody who has symptoms, such as when they're climbing steps, they get pain, or any type of exertional chest pain that relieves with rest. This could be caused by a limitation or decreased blood flow to certain muscles or tissue that, supply, that are supplied by the blood vessel. Symptoms of peripheral artery disease are similar to those that are uh, present with coronary artery disease, but instead of angina and chest pain, you have leg pain or what we call claudication. So someone might not have any leg pain upon sitting, however, when they're walking a block, they could start getting um, pain in their legs, which when they sit and rest, the pain would go away. Those are classic symptoms of claudication and an indication that you need further testing to make sure you don't have blockages in your uh, arteries of your legs. If you have any of these symptoms of coronary artery disease or peripheral artery disease, there's a, a wide range of testing that we undertake, usually in our office. The simple thing for if we're concerned about a blockage in the heart is a stress test. Sometimes you get on a treadmill and it kind of um, stresses your heart to see if there's any arrhythmias or any blockages that could be uh, present in certain arteries. If for people who cannot exercise or too frail to exercise, so have contraindications to it, we also do a chemical stress test which will also stress your heart and give us the val valuable information that we need. We also do an echocardiogram, which is um, an ultrasound of the heart to also check, on, um, to check to see if there are any valvular abnormalities that could be causing the symptoms. For peripheral artery disease, there are tests that we do as well. Some of these are called an ankle brachial index, which checks the blood pressure in the various segments of your um, legs to see if there's decreased flow as well as an ultrasound of the arteries and veins of the leg to see if there's blockages. If any of these testing for the heart or for the legs um, show up abnormal, then we do an invasive testing, which includes taking the cardiac catheterization laboratory and doing an angiogram, which is um, threading a tiny catheter up your leg vessel to the heart and taking pictures of the heart arteries. And um, also we do that for the peripheral, so for the periphery, where we take pictures of the arteries in the legs. And if anything needs to be fixed at that time, we'd fix it with either a balloon or a stent.